Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my god, it is so hot. It's not even a nice day outside, but it's so, so hot. And obviously I have to have all the windows closed so that you can't hear anything. I've got lights on and oh my God, it is so hot. So if I start getting a sweaty upper lip, I'm so sorry. I can't understand why it's so humid already. It's weird. Obviously I'm not moaning, but I'm just warning you that if I get a sweaty upper lip, that is why. So anyway, those of you that follow me on social media would have seen that, I think it must be like nearly a week ago now. Yeah, nearly a week ago I went to New York, which was just the most exciting thing that's probably ever happened to me, or has ever happened in my blogging career, I would say. Yeah. So I flew to New York for the first time, I'd never been before, and I actually went there with Urban Decay, which was just so surreal for me, like I just, I couldn't get my head around that, that they were flying us to New York, that was just insane. And when we found out that we were going like first class, like business class, I've never ever flown business class, so that was just like incredible for me. But basically what it was, it was for the launch of their new lipstick collection, they released 100 lipsticks in six different finishes I think, and basically there was a hundred girls picked to go and do a shoot with Urban Decay and we were each assigned a lipstick. It was like 99 of the most like influential YouTubers in the world. So from America, Europe, UK, and then there was me. Like someone that at Christmas had like 15,000 subscribers. It was just, it was the most mind boggling thing for me. I still can't understand how I managed to get there. If anyone could shed some light, please do, because I have no idea, but I was just so grateful to be included in that because it was one of the most amazing trips that I have ever, ever had in my life. Not to mention like Urban Decay were just incredible, but where we went was incredible, but the girls that we went with, I just, oh, so many girl crushes happened on that trip so many like i'm honestly obsessed with those girls now we just had the best time and we just clicked they were just honestly the nicest girls ever and they just totally accepted me i didn't feel like a newbie or anything like that so yeah it was just one of the best trips i've ever had anyway I should probably say that my videos are always going to be quite chatty, but that's just the way that I am. I'm just sort of a chatty person, so yeah, I just want to explain things and make you guys understand where I went, why I went, and things like that. But anyway, we were in America, and in America they have Sephora, and we don't have that here in England anymore, which is really sad, and they have like some of the best makeup brands, so obviously, obviously, we made a trip, or five? Like how many Sephoras did we go to? We must have gone to like 10 Sephoras. And I wanted to show you guys what I got. And I learned a lot from my Las Vegas haul, which if you do want to watch, I will link in the description box below. But basically, I watched it back and I was like, okay, this is great, Lydia, like you're, you're explaining to us what you bought, but like when you do clothing hauls, you try things on and you show us what they look like on. So why aren't you doing that with makeup? So what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm gonna show you the product. They're all out of the packaging. I have been trying them over, well, since I bought them really. And But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put them on, on camera. It's not first impressions because I've kind of already made up my mind about a lot of the products but I will be able to like talk you through and you can see what they look like on and things like that. So I think it'll be quite a nice way for you to get like better reviews of the product. Here's the bag. <laughs> this one's a little bit battered because my suitcase was so heavy coming back. And also I've been like dipping in and out of the bag and taking stuff out and putting it back because I've been trying things and stuff like that. So it's a bit battered. But anyway, let's have a look at what I bought in Sephora in New York. So, First up, another thing I learned from my Las Vegas haul was that I should have bought this palette. Um, so I did. The first thing that I picked up was the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And I just was like, okay, you guys made your point. Like, you all thought that it was a really, really good um, contouring palette. And I knew that there was nothing stopping me from going and picking it up again, so I did. And I wanted to try it out for myself. Now, it is a great product. Like, I'm not even going to argue with you guys. It is so good. Like, I, I would see how Leanne did her contouring, and she always looks amazing. So I picked it up. However, for someone like me, and I've been using it since I bought it, you can see that... I've been using mainly like this end of things because I feel like these might be a little bit too dark for me. So I went for like the lightest contour and it is so pigmented, which is great. Like if you love that harsh and like really strong and bold contour, that's perfect. This palette will rock your world. 
but for me I'm more of a buildable contour kind of person because I'm not I'm not that good at contouring I just do what makes me feel comfortable with my face so I tend to sort of build it up a little bit and just like get to a place where I'm comfortable whereas when I put this on I'm a bit like whoa that's a lot of contour <laughs> and I can actually like use my brush without even dipping it in because there's just that much product on there that I'm able to to do my contour without dipping it so you can get how like subtle my contour usually is so it is a great product and I absolutely like I can totally see why you guys raved about it and why you guys thought I was an idiot for not buying it but for me I just have to be like so sparing with it because and it will probably last me forever which is great but it's just so pigmented and so if you love that like strong contour you will love this palette I promise you and I am wearing it now but obviously I will be showing you in the cutaways how I did use it next up was probably one of the funniest purchases of the entire trip it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit and this is the that glow palette yeah, and it comes with sunburst, golden bronze, dripping in gold, and bubbly. And to be quite honest with you, I just keep using uh, bubbly. Um, I've got it on at the moment, I'm not sure if you can see my highlight now. But this was so funny, I actually picked up both of the glow kits. And I was like on my way to the checkout, and Amelia was like, oh my god, what, what, what is that? Do I need it? And I was like, yeah, it's, like the, it's the glow kit. So she went and picked it up. And then Lily was like, oh, you guys, you so don't need another highlighter. So Amelia was like, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. So Amelia put it back and I put one of them back. So I only kept this one. I was like, no, 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 I want to try it. Anyway, the next morning I came down and everyone was like, what highlighter have you got on? And I was like, well, <laughs> it was this one. So then everyone went and bought it. So yeah, that was my little like Lydia one, Lily nil. <laughs> But yeah, I've been non-stop using the shade here, which is Bubbly, and um, I haven't actually really tried the other ones. I've kind of like swatched this one on my hands, but um, I'm just loving this one. It would be really good if Anastasia Beverly Hills did these in singles, because I would continuously repurchase this. This highlighter is kind of what I think. You know when you see those like big American YouTubers that have that highlight that almost looks wet? Like I can't even express to you. It looks flawless this to me is the closest I've ever got to that like I think that they must be using this and have incredible skin underneath so I'm just loving this I'm using it all the time and I use it how I usually do down the center of my nose and on the highest points of my cheeks and my eyes but yeah so that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit in that glow next up is the other Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit in gleam and I haven't really had a play around with this yet to be honest because I'm just so obsessed with the other one this one's kind of taken a back seat um, the swatches don't look as great, but what I'll do is I'll pop some of the swatches and how it looks like on my skin as well. Next up I got the Marc Jacobs foundation and I don't actually know what this is called, but it is a full coverage foundation and oh my god, like this foundation is serious. I put this on my face and I was like, whoa, that is like camouflage. I literally just could not believe how thick this was and the coverage is amazing like it obviously makes your face really really one dimensional so you are going to have to add a much stronger contour and much like harsher colours um, to sort of balance it out for me I'd probably use this at night time only I don't think I could walk around with that much foundation on my face so for me this was just a little like it, it's definitely that night out a really like special occasion when you want to just look it's definitely one of those foundations. It's incredible, like it's so good and it's so not what I expected from Marc Jacobs. Like from Marc Jacobs I expected it to be quite like, you know, like natural and just sort of lightweight and then I put this on my face and I was just like, whoa, okay. Um, not what I expected at all, but love the colour as well. The colour on my skin is perfect, so it's not like I've got this full face of makeup and my neck is a complete different colour. It works really, really well when I have like fake tan on and stuff like that, so it's definitely the most full coverage foundation I've ever, ever bought, but it's insanely good. Um, so next up, I managed to nab myself some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks. I was hunting everywhere for these. That was why we went to so many Sephora's because we all wanted to get our hands on some of these and it was only on the last trip that we actually found any of the good colors. I got myself Naked, which is on my lips at the moment. I'm still trying to work out whether I think it suits me or not. I got Stripped and I also got Dusty Rose. Now I haven't put Dusty Rose on my lips yet because that is a very very sort of pinky, rosy, nudie colour which is probably quite a lot of colour for someone like me who always wears nudes 
But I have tried these two, so stripped and naked. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I'm quite disappointed by these. And I'm quite shocked that so many people are raving about them so much because I don't know whether I started off with the top tier of liquid lipsticks because Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks are incredible. They don't budge, they don't move, they are so, so long lasting and just a really, really great product. These, however, not so much. So I've done my makeup and I've gone to film this video and realized that I needed to reapply and they tend to crack and they are very, very drying, very drying, like so much more drying than the Kat Von D ones. They crack really badly so I'm probably going to have a look at this back and I'm probably going to think wow you should have reapplied halfway through. So in all honesty I don't really think that they've got the formula that great on these which is is a real letdown because the colours are so lovely and I really do like them, I really like the colours and I so wanted these to be amazing but I'm just a little bit let down by the cracking and just how drying they are. Hopefully uh, that will change in future and they'll kind of like nail it but yeah, I've loved everything that I've bought from Anastasia Beverly Hills so far, but these were just a little bit of a letdown, I'm not going to lie. Next up is probably the only drugstore beauty purchase that I made when I was in New York, and this is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminosa. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> Actually quite scared me. Okay, let's try that one again in Luminoso and I'm not even gonna lie I only bought this because Amelia told me that I needed it and I did and I'm so glad I listened to you Amelia you were so so right I love this I wear this every single day now I'm wearing it now and it's just beautiful I don't usually like sort of iridescent blushes I kind of like them to be quite matte and then just go all out with my highlighter this is completely different. I love it. It's so beautiful and, and now I'm really, really worried that I'm never going to be able to get it again. So I hope that I go back to America so that I can buy it in bulk. But it is such a good blush. Next up, I bought another two liquid lipsticks. You know that I like matte lipsticks and I like nudes. So these are always going to be favourites of mine. And I loved the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks that I bought when I was in Las Vegas. So I picked up another one. This one is Noble. Again, I'm still trying to work out whether it looks good on me. It is quite similar to this colour, but it's probably a little bit lighter. I think it's one of those colours that looks really, really great with a tan. Um, and it also kind of makes me feel a little bit like Amreezy when I wear it. I don't know why, um, <laughs> but I feel so sassy. Um, but yeah, I'm still trying to work out if it suits me. But as usual, Kat Von D liquid lipsticks are top for me. I've heard that Jeffree Star and Kylie Jenner's are also incredible. I've not tried either of them. I hope I'll be able to try those soon because I kind of feel like I'm a bit of a liquid lip connoisseur now. But yeah, really, really love that. And I've also got the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in shade Dolce. This is more of a dark nude and I haven't really tried this one out yet. So I think it's probably best that we have a look at both of these on my lips. Next up, I bought the Makeup Forever Full Cover Camouflage Cream Concealer. It's waterproof as well and Lily told me that I needed it. So I bought it in exactly the same shade as Lily because that's just basically how the entire trip went. I do really like it. It is a very, very good coverage. It is really really nice it is very very brightening under your eyes I am not mad about the applicator I feel like in this day and age no one really applies their concealer like this it just doesn't really work for me and I tried putting it on and then using a beauty blender and it just wasn't the same as how I apply with my Urban Decay concealer so I don't think that this will replace my Urban Decay concealer I, I love it and I love the the coverage of it and it's great if you have a spot <laughs> oh what's this hair doing how long has that been like that oh I'll teach you to play with your hair, Lydia. So yeah, I don't think that this will, I'm not sure whether this will replace my Urban Decay one just yet. Maybe if they change the applicator and put in like a little wand thingy, maybe then I'll be happy with it. But um, other than that, it's really, really nice coverage. But yeah, I don't like the applicator. Next up, I bought the Bite Agave Lip Mask and this is just a little bit of a marketing thing really I think I'm just a sucker for things that say like agave because I love agave but it's just basically glorified lip balm um, but you can put it on overnight and I love to do like lip masks overnight because I get quite dry lips and I like them to always wake up and be really hydrated so I have been slathering this on my lips and um, it's lovely it's really nice but it is kind of just a glorified lip balm but I do really like the packaging and I love the name Bite as well. Then I got the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist and I think we all bought this. Pretty sure that we did. But it's really lovely. It's a face mist and I've got quite a lot of um, face mists. It says on the back, shake gently before use, close eyes and mist onto face for instant soothing hydration and a silken radiant finish. And it is really nice. It's got a really, really fine mist. So you don't feel like you've just squirted something on your face. You know when you spray facial mists onto your face and it's kind of a bit like, 
oh, I have to let that dry, but you don't get that with this. But now that I'm talking and I've just sprayed it, <laughs> I've actually tasted it as well, and it tastes quite nice, but it also smells really nice as well. So yeah, this is just really nice, and I think it sort of leaves a bit of a sheen on your skin uh, without being heavy, which is really nice, especially if you don't like lots of stuff on your face like me. I don't, I'm not a huge stuff person when it comes to putting <laughs> stuff on my face. But yeah, I really love it and it looks really nice as well and it smells nice and tastes nice. Next up, I have not used this yet and this is just ridiculous. So I only bought this because Lily bought it and I'm pretty sure that Lily only bought it because her friend Anna bought it. So yeah, it's Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Again, brilliant marketing. Who doesn't want a Brazilian Bum Bum? I certainly do. So yeah, but I think it's pretty much just a moisturiser from what I can gather. Um, fast absorbing body cream, helps tighten and smooth like no other. Uh, so I haven't tried it yet, I haven't even opened it, but I do kind of think that this is just a little bit of clever marketing. But I'm not going to rule it out entirely, so... And then I picked up two lip liners from Makeup Forever, and basically I bought these because at the time I couldn't find any liquid lipsticks, so I'll just get lip liners because they're kind of the next best thing. Um, and they're both two nude shades because what else would I buy? And these are, it's really strange, I've tried them both out and they're kind of the same colour as my lips but they're two different shades. So one's like a lighter shade of my lip and the other one's like a darker shade of my lip. But they're really nice and natural and they enable me to have like a naturally lined lip without it being like, oh she's lined her lips. So it's, it's they're both really, really nice. Um, I think that these are the waterproof ones which is great because I hate lip liners that move. But yeah, they're just kind of lip liners, really. And then finally, obviously I was out there with Urban Decay, so they were really, really nice, and they gifted us with some products whilst we were out there. And I'm a big fan of Urban Decay. As you know, my favorite concealer is from Urban Decay. So I was really excited about this. And because we were there for the launch of their lipsticks and to be part of the shoot and stuff like that, it was inevitable that they were gonna like give us some lipsticks. So yeah, we thought we were gonna get like you know, a couple of lipsticks. And then we went out for dinner one night and we came back to the room and we were just like, oh my God, there was this big like plaque or what we thought was a plaque on the chair in our room. And I thought it was just like a cardboard kind of like advertising board. And then as I got closer, I realized that it wasn't an advertising board at all. It's actually, as you can see, and I'm sorry that this is a bit filthy, but I managed to get this all the way back from New York. I made it my mission because I wanted to be, like, be able to show you guys exactly what we got. They gave us every single one of the lipsticks. Every single one. The six different finishes. Every single colour. We were given them. And yeah, it was just one of those moments where you're just like... Oh my god. And yeah, so I haven't even had a chance yet since I've been back to have a look through the lipsticks and sort of pick out my favourite shade. But yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. And oh my gosh, we totally didn't even think, like getting it through customs. What does that look like to you? It looks like a bullet. That's what that looks like. It looks like a bullet. And this was wrapped in like bubble wrap, so you couldn't see that it said like Urban Decay on it or anything. And it's going through customs. So when it went through and they were like, what is this? And Leanne turned around to them and said, oh, it's hers. And I was walking off and Jenna had not come through yet. They were just a bit like, what is going on here? And then it sort of clicked with me. I was like, oh my God, they thought that this was bullets. And we explained that it was just a hundred lipsticks. I personally really like the packaging and I'm really excited to try out the lipsticks but that is everything in this haul finally. That was kind of a long one. I think I did myself proud this time but yeah that was just the most amazing trip ever and I'm so excited by everything that I bought and I really hope that you have enjoyed this style of haul where I'm also showing you what things look like on and also telling you what I liked and what I didn't I'm being honest. But if you did like this video please do let me know by giving it a big thumbs up because that always helps when doing these videos if you liked this sort of style and also if you are new please don't forget to subscribe but if you want to follow me on anything else as well you can also find all of my social media links so snapchat where I'm like most active Instagram, Twitter, all of that jazz can be found down below. So if you want to follow along, you can. I've also popped all of the product links that I've been able to find as well. So you can pick anything up that you enjoyed the look of. And I've also popped all of the links to the girls' channels that came on the trip as well so that you can go and see what they bought and you can go and see their vlogs and all of that exciting stuff as well because they are such great girls. So I definitely suggest going and checking out their channels as well. But other than that, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye. Bye.